Hey YouTube, it's David from Bootstrap.com. In the last tutorial, I show you how to connect uh, Bootstrap to React, how to use Bootstrap with React. And uh, that was a very quick video, uh, how to connect it and how to import it. Uh, in this video, we're gonna build the entire site you can see here. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so similarly to the previous video, I do assume you have npm installed and we will be using actually npx um, npx comes along with npm so if you have npm with the version above five uh, six or something above uh, you should also have npx uh, installed so what we're gonna do we're gonna say uh, npx uh, create react app and we provide the name so let's say uh, bs5 react page or whatsoever and this will create for us a new page. This may take some time, so uh, let's wait for it. Okay, now, once project is created, let's uh, get into it. So change directory, bs5. And let's add bootstrap. Yarn, add bootstrap and react bootstrap. Okay, now let's have a look at our source file. So app.js source and let's import uh, Bootstrap. So uh, we're gonna import, let's say, button from React Bootstrap. And we also need to import uh, styles because React Bootstrap uh, let me show you this. So this is the project page of the React Bootstrap. Um, contains only CSS and we also, uh, sorry, contains only JS and we also need CSS. That's why we installed Bootstrap, which installed CSS and React Bootstrap, which installed um, JS. So import Bootstrap, dist CSS, Bootstrap min CSS. Okay, and let's check whether it's working. Uh, so let's have a button here. This is button. Why it doesn't work? And let's do yarn start. So here we have our button, it's working perfectly fine. No very important thing to remember. We will be adding new components over here. So we'll be adding probably some cards, navbars whatsoever. However, please do keep in mind that um, this is not the best way to do it. Uh, if you look at the docs, if you look at the getting started page, you will see that um, this is the proper way to do it. Uh, and you can also do it like this, like we are doing here because it's just easier. So for the sake of this tutorial, um, this uh, will be just easier to work with the multiple components. But why you should do it like this? Because now we, you will be importing only buttons and here we are importing actually the entire library. This is nicely explained in one of the issue um, of the uh, React Bootstrap, where basically you see that uh, it's importing the entire library and it's recommended to be more um, more picky. And this is the way to import multiple components because then you are only compon uh, including or importing just what you need instead of importing the entire library and using just, just a button. So basically, I think it's fine to work like this when you are working um, and developing and then uh, once you go to production you should also change your imports but for the moment let's stick with it okay let's start with being uh, building our page so we will be using um, these components and layouts over here so let's start with some navbar let's get some navbar mm, and let's copy paste this one i think we also need to work with css here because we have some um, css we don't want so uh, let's remove everything as we start from scratch and let's get rid of um, this content and we don't need this class name anymore so we'll just have header and we'll add navbar now when i'm gonna save it's gonna complain about missing components so let's add them now so we will have here navbar container what else nav and nav 
drop down. Okay. Logo and cards defined. Okay, we don't need the logo anymore and we don't use cards, so it will complain on that. That's fine. Okay, we have our mm, now bar ready. If you check here, you will see there are more uh, options um, and you can change them. You have like this uh, background and variant dark and let's use it in our uh, code. I like it a little bit better than uh, than that. Um, okay, now let's uh, move to the next element we, where we're gonna use uh, a grid. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, after our header, let's add, uh, let's say some main part where we'll have the body of our page mm, and let's go to grid. So layout, grid, and let's use um, some grid here. We could use this one, but here on the columns gonna be equal, right? They will have the same width. We are looking something where we can decide upon the size of our um, of our grid. So for example, this one will work. So I'm gonna copy everything here and get rid of what we don't need. I want to have two columns for now. So let's remove this one. And for that, I would like to have ratio seven to five. Keep in mind, it always should add up to 12, right? So this is Bootstrap. If you don't know that, I strongly encourage you to check our Bootstrap tutorial on our channel, which will explain to you why it's important. Um, okay, again, row and call we are missing, obviously. So row and call, and this will give us this nice, uh, nice grid over here now let's um let's do uh, let's do two things here let's add some uh let's add some margin so let's get this out of uh from from navbar let's give some space in between so um let's say that to our container i'm gonna add classes bootstrap classes so um let's do like px4 this will be used for later p and let's say MI5. So this will give us this uh, margin and padding. Mm, and what we want to do now, we want to use some image over here. So instead, let's use some image. Uh, so again, coming back to images, and uh, let's grab something over here. Mm, we want image fluid. So uh, let's do this like this. Okay, we will have image for source. We could be using something. I don't know whether you know it or not. Let's see if this works. Obviously, we need image to import image. Let's see how does it work. So we have this image over here. So this is a nice way to put some dummy content over here. Um, however, I would like this image also to be uh, rounded. So this will give a little nice round corner over here. Let's also add some classes to it. Uh, class name, um, because this will be uh, better looking with the, or actually, you know what, for now let's leave it because uh, I, I just suspect that when we add content here, we might need some more um, spacing here, but for now let's leave it. And uh, I also want to show you the other, um, really nice tool because here we have a nice placeholders but actually there is another one which is using the which is actually putting the real photos and they are just randomly picked up or you can choose which one you want i'm gonna show you that uh later on um okay let's move to this one so in here what i would like to have i would like to um i would like to have some headings here so let's say if h1 h1 and this will do um, so some tagline, right? So this is some, some heading over here. Um, we can obviously uh, add some bootstrap classes like, for example, font weight light, which will change the font weight for our, uh, for our um, tagline. Let's add some paragraph. Oops. Oh, actually, hold on. This is not a uh, not class name. It's class, right? Uh, because it's not component. So for the paragraph, um, oh, link my link to my Emmet doesn't work as I would like to. So well, uh, let's paste some text here. Now we need to add some 
um, margin top. So we have some margin over here and something you already know because we started with this. So button, right? Um, call to action and we need to import button first. Okay, oops. Button is not defined. Why? Button, button, button. Okay, now it's working fine. Something that was glitching there. Uh, just get back to um, docs very quickly. You have different variants, right? Primary, secondary, and so on. So if you want to change it, you can easily do it. You can change the way it looks. For example, variant outline primary will give us this nice look to the uh, to the element um, okay let's move uh, forward so now what I want to do what I would like to do I would like to add some cards over here so we will go out of no actually not uh, yeah cards so uh, let's add new row oh come on row and within this row I would like to use a card so we'll be using two different kind of cards let's go to cards and uh, we go, we're going to use these cards with image, but first I would like to have just a simple card and with use of, obviously card is not defined, and with the use of uh, certain classes, I will create so-called uh, call to action. So uh, let's replace this text with something longer so that will be this one and what I would like to do here I would like to add some classes to the cards itself so class name equals to and now what I want to do I want to do text center to center it I would like to have um, B background secondary which will make it grayish now since it's, it's gray let's change text to white so it's better visible and now finally let's just use uh, some margins and um and, and uh, paddings to get some spacings in here right and this will be our call to action great and now another row and we'll move to them to the uh, to the cards which I mentioned before. So what we could do, we could use those images right here, right, or those snippets, and we could just use um, three calls with uh, with um, uh, same sizing because they are equal. So we could just use it and add, just add images. That should work. Let's let's have a look uh, at this. Uh, I have some images prepared here, and let me also quickly use this opportunity to show you how they can work so I replaced all three of them so with this pixel photo you can either choose randomly so if you do something like this you will get a random image as you can see now so it will change every time or you could specify the ID so they're, 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 all the images are listed over there. So if you use some random IDs over here, uh, you should get some different images, right? Okay. So let's that, let's let's leave it like this. Uh, actually, I like it. Um, I was thinking of using also this. Um, hold on, cards. If you scroll down, you have this card groups, which looks like this actually you see how does it look like right so they are grouped all together these ones are like next to each other and this one uh, are using card groups so initially i wanted to use it but i kind of like what we got here so that could be our blog post so finally the last thing to do now is just to create a footer unfortunately there are no footers here so we will have to create a custom one right there are footers for cards and for models, but there are no for, for the footer for the page as such. So um, let's create it ourselves. So we'll go out of main and let's add footer. And we're going to just use bootstrap classes to create this one. So uh, let's add some uh, PY5 and MY5 and change background to dark. Okay. Oops, we should probably close our tags. That would be better. Um, and I have double 
stack here. Okay, okay, now this is here, great. And now inside the footer, let's add some diff. Um, or actually, you know what, let's add container here. With the some paddings as well. So we're gonna get the spacing px4. Um, so this will go. And then let's add some paragraph. And let's say copy, write, uh, I think it's like this, and copy your website 2021. Will it work? Yeah, well, it will work, although we need some classes to be text center and text wide to be visible. And now we have our footer. Okay, uh, we are done. I hope you find it useful. I hope find it easy. Uh, as you can see, we've just created this page in what, less than, I don't know, 10 minutes or something like that. I don't know. See, I can see the timer uh, exactly. But this hopefully shows you how powerful Bootstrap is, especially if you combine it with the tools like React. Okay, so now let's do the very last step. Let's deploy our application. I'm going to use MDB Go for that. So if you don't have it, simply install it with npm. npm install minus g mdb dash cli. Uh, once you do it, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do it. Uh, so once you have it installed, you'll have to log in, mdb login or register if you don't have account. Um, you can also do it via website. So mdbgo.com, if you go into the uh, page, you will see the command to install and then you can also register here or with the command line. I already have account, so I'm going to do mdb login, my username and password. And now I'm simply going to type mdb publish. It's going to ask me which uh, package manager I want to use. Let's stick to npm. And as you can see, within a few seconds, our application got deployed to the server. So now we have a page secured with HTTPS, with SSL, and we can simply share it with uh, others. Uh, so uh, if you haven't used it before, uh, I just let you know that uh, within dashboard, you can also create a repository for your project. You can also create a databases. Uh, you can also give access to other developers. So I strongly encourage you to give a try and see how flawlessly this hosting works. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like down below, leave a comment that will help us. And obviously don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we are creating much more than you just seen. We have plenty of other videos uh, where you're going to find um, different tutorials on, tuto on React as well as Bootstrap and other technologies. Uh, so if you don't want to miss that, uh, yeah, just subscribe and check our other videos because there are plenty of them already. Thank you for watching and keep coding.